I come out here, this is peace for me. Corey Lilberg pulls leaves to expose young Chardonnay grapes to the sun to help them grow. It's fun bringing something to the community, especially because there's such a history of it here in Tryon Foothills. It's a region that was nationally known for its grapes and wine before Prohibition. Lilberg's grandparents, Bob and Karen Benz, are helping restore that reputation at Parker Benz Vineyard in Polk County. We're making a lot of different wines because we grow quite a few different varieties of grapes. The Benz owned a plant nursery and tree farm in South Florida for 20 years. And I said to her, we're getting too old to do this. I said, let's, let's go up to the mountains where it's cooler in the summer. In 2007, they bought 10 acres of land a few miles outside of Columbus and built a small home. They spent summers here, but after two years, decided to live here permanently. We just weren't ready for the rocking chairs because we're just working type people for sure. So they decided to plant wine grapes and eventually started making wine. I like to refer to it as, as a hobby out of control because it was never meant to be what it turned out to be. Their 10 acres turned to 40, 15 of them in grapes. They built a tasting room, a covered outdoor bar, and outdoor seating areas. And we were growing and we needed help because we're, we're older, you can take a look at us. He's, he's 87 now. So the Bins hired their grandson, Corey, to work as vineyard manager, among other things. I just connected with the vines. It's, it's, it's crazy how it works. There's something about that that's very primal. Uh, I'm into it. So you're gonna start with rosé. The Bins daughter, Kelly, does marketing and manages the tasting room. It has strawberry notes on it, citrus, and it, it's dry and quite delicious. The Bins also hired professional winemaker, Justin Taylor. Parker Bins is responsible for producing dry whites, dry reds, uh, dry rosé, and then we do have an off-dry line of wines that have just a touch of sweetness to them. It's extremely diverse, but our focus is on just making the best that we can for us to share with everybody. Among the favorites are the Petite Mansang. Grows really well here, produces a nice, rich, ripe, tropical characteristic for a white wine. A lot of times that's described as being the uh, red wine drinker's white wine. The Chardonnay is fermented in stainless steel. Almost a naked Chardonnay, we don't put any oak on it. it tends to come out a bit more tropical, so it's got some nice ripe fruit to it, but really trying to represent the varietal. Red wine drinkers should enjoy the Merlot. The Merlot for us tends to show this big, bright, uh, ripe, fresh cherry. So Bing cherry is like the one thing that comes to mind over and over again. Uh, it's got that really good acidity to it, nice vibrant color. Three wines are named for Lulu, a rescue that's become the Parker Bins mascot. There are other animals around too. These sheep are on load to help fertilize the vineyard and donkeys, a llama, and an alpaca are rescues that entertain customers. You see children out there in the lawn running around having a good time. I mean, it's a very much of a family atmosphere, and I think people will like that. Everybody here is out of sight. There's music on the weekends, and there's food to go with it all. Specialty burgers, BLTs, charcuterie boards, and other snacks. Wine and food just naturally go together. Yeah. They go hand in hand. Yeah. Yeah, that's very true. If I'm going to have a glass of wine, I want something to nibble on. Everybody's feeling the one and right. A visit to Parker Bins Vineyard is an experience that goes well beyond the wine. The people are great, the, the feel is great, the music's always good. We get so many people that come here that feel like they're part of the Parker Bins family because we've got a very friendly staff. We're people people. We've always worked around people. We love people. So we create an atmosphere that we try to make everyone feel at home. Parker Bins Vineyard is at 2275 Whiteside Road in Mill Spring, and they're open Wednesday through Sunday. For more information, give them a call at 828-894-0154 or visit them online at parkerbinsvineyard.com.